Welcome to another free tip of the week brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about grouping and sorting levels in your Access reports. In my database, I built a basic customer table. I have a customer ID, which is my auto number, first and last names, the state that the customer is from, and the donations they've made. We're tracking charitable donations. Now, I'm keeping my customer table simple just for this lesson, but you'll probably have more stuff in here like a full address and phone number and things like that. I've entered in some basic data, first name, last name, state. Make sure you have some states here that are the same. I've got a bunch of New Yorks, a couple of Pennsylvanias, and of course the donation amounts. Now let's make our report. I'll click on reports and then new. Now, normally I don't like the report wizard. I like to make my reports by hand, but we'll use the report wizard for this example. I'll pick my data source, customer T, and then I'll hit OK. What fields do I want on my report? Well, let's bring them all over for now. I'll hit next. Now, here's the key. It says, do you want to add any grouping levels? Let's group by state. So I want all the people from the same state grouped together. Now, you can add multiple grouping levels if you want. We'll just stick to one for now. I'll click Next. Do you want to sort your records? Let's sort by last name. If you want to add a second sort, you can. You can put first name in here, for example, in case any two last names are the same. And right down here, click on the Summary Options button. It says, what summary values would you like calculated? Well, it sees that donations is a currency type, so it figures we can sum average max or min these. Let's click on Sum. And there's some other options over here where you can see only the summary or the detail in the summary. The detail is all the records themselves. We want to see those. You can also calculate percentage of totals for sums. We'll leave that off for now. I'll hit OK. And now click Next. All right. What layout do you want? Stepped, block, outline. You can pick any of these different layouts. I'll go with the default, which is stepped. You can change the orientation. I'll hit Next. What style would you like? There's bold, casual, all these different styles here. Just pick one. Next. What title do you want for your report? Well, how about donations by state? All right, let's preview the report and hit finish. All right, here's my donations by state report. You can see over here that each state is grouped together. There's New York, there's Pennsylvania. If you scroll down here, there's Texas. You can see that it says summary for state equals New York for detail records. I'll scroll over to the right here. And you can see there's the sums and the totals. Right? There's all the individual records and there's the sum. Now, for those of you who don't like the wizards, I don't usually use the wizards myself, but they make things faster sometimes. Let's take a look at what Access did. Well, down here, you can see we now have a page header, a state header, a detail section, and a state footer. Where did this come from, the state header? Well, there's a little button right here in the toolbar. Right there, it says sorting and grouping. If you click on that button, it brings up the sorting and grouping box. You can add in here any fields that you want to sort or group by. All right, sorts are over here. Here's all the ascending sorts. And grouping is down below here. Group header, yes. Group footer, yes. You can change this if you want to see the header or footer, which we do in this case. Last name, for example, is sorted, but it's not grouped. There's no group header or footer. Okay. But each state is now grouped together, and it's grouped on each value. There are different options in here. Prefix characters, for example, you can set it so only the first couple of characters are grouped on. All right, and that's where that is controlled. And also, the wizard added the sums for us as well. If you look down here in the state footer, you can see it added a new text box for us right here. And I'll double click on that to bring up its properties. And here's the properties. It's the equal the sum of the donations. That's how you make a sum in a footer. You put all that together, and you've got your grouping levels, and you've got your totals over here. Of course, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I can only cover so much material here on YouTube. For the rest of the lesson, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube, 
and look for the link for my Access 104 course. I cover sorting and grouping in much more detail in that course. For lots more free tips like this one, of course, look for the ones I have here on YouTube. But you can also find many more on my website at accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube. That's a special link for YouTube visitors. You'll find more free tutorials, sample database files, and lots more. If you have a question that you'd like to submit to me for a future tip of the week, feel free to do so, accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube. If you enjoyed this lesson, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And every time I come out with a new lesson, you'll be notified. Thank you for watching this free tip of the week. I'm Richard Rost. Now go build something with access.